I came first to help you. Your need seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You've lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. You speak with some sadness. Has your time here always been tragic? There have been tears, but also great passions. Love, foolishness, regret. Yet, is that not all lives? The best lived of them? And what of our plan, the great Lama's kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? 
Yes, it's a wonderful evening, a blessing of the harvest, full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one, and her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. This captain, who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year. Full of youthful bravado. A Saxon? A Dane, though Adred calls you raiders. He says that you are here to steal England. Some may be, but I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah, oh, it must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfur, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I'll bring him round. By force or persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lammas Festival. Rollo! Please, I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Someone's at the door, Rolla. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? Estrid sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rolo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no! Just a second! Good day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking Danes! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! Well, we found your camp, Dane! Your friends are all trussed up! No one's out you now! Surrender! <laughs> Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I'm Avon of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. Shoot! Fundia's on the way! 
Union for your relief! La Goldas! La Goldas! Worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor. Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons... I should speak to both, and see if I can find some evidence. Gerhild, is it? Aye. Rollo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him? You weren't here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rolo's favorite. Who are you to Rolo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path. Our people deserve better. I hear envy. But of Estrid or Rolo, I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. That's all for now. My 
You were drinking and pouring, Rollo. The Saxons attacked us. Nordic, yes? What is your story? Don't you hear my story? And bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can have. Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Gerhild shouting, and all hell broke loose. Did you see anything at all? Gerhild talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition, always was. How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. If that means wiping Rollo's arse until I die, so be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. He was tired of battle. I'll feast in Odin's Hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. I have what I need for now. You were drinking and whoring, Rollo. The Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. We might find some evidence to test their stories. I should speak to both, and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. No need to hunt when the camp is full of fresh kills. This looks like a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Have you made your decision? Gerhild claimed to be hunting as Lord did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Lordk said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. Have you come to a firm conclusion? I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me, but let it be the truth. Gerhild betrayed you. No! That's not true! Rollo, I beg you! A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Both had reason to betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my hall. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. She was always a jealous crow, beat breaking over every decision I made. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive, and I will need your help after they're free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. Always knew there was something wrong with her. Spare me your sullen words. My heart is torn. Go. Find something useful to do. I've heard of a safer place in the Job!
Hm. This place is heavily guarded. Zunin, guide me. <laughs> Rolo's men, caged like plump hens.
someone smashed the alarm. Remain steadfast. <laughs> Men are free. Now we discuss the terms of the kidnap. To the dog! Make the ship ready to sail! Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, Raven Feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Stay true to that, and your name and deeds shall spread far. Good advice. Such is my fiercest desire. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. I have a task that will set your name ringing through the long halls. Oh, tell me. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout-hearted than this. Whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here. Nor her. We will meet with your men inside Colchester. On the night of the Lammas Festival.
always have remembered a lover from so long ago. Would I? Show me. The last house in Malden. All of it should be here. Someone was interrupted preparing their supper. Taken. Or fled. A second bed. Olvida doesn't live alone. Go, Zulin. A spilt pail of water. Someone was in a hurry. Leave me be, warmonger! You have my sister! Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. A day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. Why did they take your sister? Some of Alfred's men beat a child of the village for stealing bread. My sister would not stand by and see injustice done. Do you know where they're holding Olvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will. should not be seen in this area.
Key should unlock Alvida's cage. What? What is this? You're not one of them. Stay quiet. I'm here to free you. I cannot walk. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? Who risked so much to save me? A friend. Of Elrich's? Is he all right, the poor boy? Not your brother. Someone else who wishes to rekindle a, a friendship.
Won't be gentle if they spot me. Rest now. Soon you will be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshy milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread? I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Illerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. You raised him alone. Where were your parents when he was a child? Dead of the plague that came when he was three months born. So to shun your door when you have a babe on your teat. Now it's your turn. Why did you come for me? I am here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for, I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife, Estrid, returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the Alderman... Oh, God, help me! I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He'll come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he'll ride here to meet you. Ellerich! Come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly. As when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. And this young lad is Elderich, Alvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Burston. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Burston. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Ellerich, I'd suggest a long, slow walk around the lake. I should leave them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnap in Colchester. Dear Pearson, I cannot believe you would come for me after all these years. I never stop thinking of you, Alvin. What will I be in Colchester? A gooseberry in the Elderman's patch?
Hate me. Be my eyes. How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Unleash your war dogs. Set things afire. Bring panic. Act like the barbarians they think us to be. We'll stick their hearts with needles of fear. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. No, absolutely. is ours. Coming with me! Oh, oh, desist you, foul Dane! Guards! Oh, woe unto me! Put me down! Odin's beard! You wouldn't fool a child with that howling! Unhand me, fiend! Stand down, you! enough to walk, I think. Aren't we? Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. 
A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? Is my virtue safe yeah. with you? It's not in danger, if that's what you mean. Come now, Evo. You can stand against Alfred's brutes, but you shudder at a maiden's gentle teasing? is done, and all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rolo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if Beerstens will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate! Let's get you some mead! Birstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. I should find Beerston. No doubt he's hunting again. Yes! <laughs> A ruse worthy of the trickster. They're even stolen by us mere mortals. 